Hey guys, today we are going to be uh, talking about and um, taking apart the complete upper slide, um, completely disassemble it, and um, if I have enough views I'll do the lower receiver too, but let's get right to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take out the mag, and then you're going to want to take off the slide. You're going to take off the slide by pushing to where you can see this little bitty, and I don't know what to call it, it's serration in the slide, um, to where it is lined up with the magazine catch. And you're going to pop the, it's a pin, you're going to, on this side, you're going to push this pin until it clicks. Then you're going to pull it out, and then take off the upper slide. And then from here, it's a really pain, real big pain in my butt, trying to get this thing off. Um, you have to pull this tab back right here. You have to hold that while uh, taking it out, the guide rod. And there's the guide rod. And... Uh, the housing for the spring for the Mark IV. I'm going to set this aside. Make sure you don't lose any pieces of this, guys. And then you're going to take this uh, the barrel out. And then once you've done that, you're going to need a hex key. It's going to be right here. Right in the back. I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not. There we go. I'm going to take a hex key. I do not know what size this is. I kind of forgot. Um, but anyways, you're going to take out this hex key. Or not take out the hex key, but take out the screw. And once you're done taking out the screw, put it off to the side. And um, you're going to push the housing forward for the um, gas chamber and if you can't see the reason why I'm doing this video is I thought KWA was supposed to be for performance um, but I've had bad luck my uh, thing right here completely just snapped in half um, if you can't see that I have the other part over there um, I don't feel like going and grabbing it and what you're going to do now is you see these, I don't know what to call them, these two little uh, metal, it's like a metal clip pretty much. It's what holds the housing in place. And what you're going to do is you're going to get both of them. And you have to push inwards with both of them and uh, pull it up. And then there's... It gets caught on two things here. You gotta pull them out. See, if, see what I'm doing. It's a real pain to take off the slide. I couldn't find anything else until I just messed around with my pistol. There we go. Do that too. And you are going to take it off. And then, if you can't see, look how damaged my return springs are for this little housing. If you can see here, this one came off and it's all messed up. Oh, where'd it go? Underneath the camera. Alright. And um, to take this off, all you're going to have to do is... Take off these two springs, set them off to the side. Um, mine are broken. I'm going to have to go to call KWA tomorrow and see if I can buy new parts for this. And here's my housing. So I'd think twice about getting a KWA because this problem right here. Um, I love KWA. Whenever it's working, it has amazing performance. And um, in the back here, like on the top of the slide, there's a little hole. And that's pretty much uh, 
just like a hammer stop. Um, it has a little spring and it has a hammer stop. And uh, it holds a, the housing to where it doesn't move as much. Because that's where the screw goes through, if you can't see right here. What you're going to do to reassemble it now, now we're going to go ahead and reassemble it. We're going to put the, now we can get the spring. Put the spring on this little stopper here. Put it in. And once you put it in, you are going to uh, get both of the, we won't get the housing. Mine's kind of a piece of poop. It kind of just broke in half. So let's get the housing. Put it back on here. Make sure you have everything lined up or this will not work cor correctly and you will damage your gun. Believe me. I've gone through two KWA pistols and I'm not going to buy another one. I will stick with KJW and WE. And you are going to get your return springs. Mine are like all bent out of shape and I can't put mine on very well. So excuse me if it's taking me a little bit longer than usual to reassemble this. And once you have that done, you're going to take your upper slide for the Mark IV. Uh, this also works with the Mark II because I had one. And you're going to, um, oop, there goes my little damper. There we go. And whenever you put this thing in, you're going to want to make sure the hole is lined up with the other hole because that's where the screw goes through. And if it's not, it won't assemble properly and mine keeps falling out. God knows why. And you're going to put the housing back into place. And you'll hear it clip a, a couple times. And then you just go ahead and push it down. Then it should pop back out. I think mine just is going through a rough time right now because mine's it should be popping back out the back, but mine's not. And that could be my problem, or it could be a problem with the pistol itself. In my luck, it usually is a problem with the pistol itself. Well, anyways, once you have that done, you're going to take your screw, put it back in. If mine's not going to... Let's see if I can get mine in here. Sorry, guys, about this. You might have to push that thing in even further to put the screw in. Then you're going to take your hex key or allen key. I believe it's an allen key. Sorry. It's really late. But anyways, you're going to put that in. Make sure you don't have it too tight. Just hand tight and where it's flush with the whole assembly. Then to reassemble the upper side, you're going to take the barrel. You're going to put it into the front. This part only works on the Mark IV, and then that's where it, that little piston should be, but it's not there. Or air nozzle. Then you're going to take the spring guide and the spring housing, and you're going to put it back in. Let's see. There should be a little hole right here. You can use a tool if you want to, like this, like so. Put it back in. I think that's what it really is designed for, so you can put it back in. And then you're going to turn your return, uh, you're going to turn the spring housing to where it can go into place, and it should click in, like so. And then just rotate it until it lines up with a little notch right there. Take your slide put it back on the assembly and make sure let me go ahead and fire it real quick this little pin right here if you don't have that you can mess up your gun if you don't push it down uh, so go ahead and push it down you'll see the little pin in the back pop out there you go take the upper slide put it on the assembly mine will actually go see I've just had nothing but problems with these pistols man This is just wonderful. Oh, now I got jammed. 
And since that little bitty air nozzle there is not there, I'm having really a lot of difficulties trying to put on this slide. And it's really aggravating me. I have to call KWA and tell them my problems and my concerns with this pistol and see if they can fix it. Because I'd like to have another one, except they're just really expensive to maintain. I'm sorry guys, give me a second. My slide is not completely where it should be. My barrel isn't because... There we go, let's see if this works. Oh, there goes my light, my camera. There we go. Finally, it goes on. Then you're going to take your magazine catch. And sorry if you can't see me, that's why I had that light on. You know, place it back in the hole. Do the same thing as you did the first time. Click it back into place. Magazine back in the gun. Make sure it's unloaded. Decock the hammer. And there you go. Happy airsofting.